Racco. This is a game that has been around for a while, so maybe you've seen it, but maybe you haven't. I had never played it before, and I think this is a great way for kids to see how numbers line up and even seeing their place value. I've got some kids, you know, that swap it, and I think all kids do, especially when they're first learning place value, and so this is a great way to see it visually and simple enough that my little kids can play together or they can play with me. So let's take a look at how this game is played. So not time for a page turner, but time for a card flipper. <laughs> Racco, a great game for learning place value and practicing number order. So it comes with cards that all have a number on them. And you'll see that the numbers don't, they, they line up smallest to largest across the top of the card. So they're all kind of in a different place on the top of the card, which helps young readers to figure out their place value and see if they're getting it backwards or not. And it comes with four of these little rack sets here. <laughs> Um, what you do at the beginning is you're going to deal out cards to each player, and as you deal the card, they immediately put it into their rack, and they just go along like this. So they're going to be out of order. They're not going to be in the right way. So you'll keep going back and forth that way to all of the players as you're dealing them out. They're putting it in their own, their own setup here. And when it's completely full of cards, that's when the game starts. You cut the deck. Lowest number goes first. And then throughout the game, it's going to be either choosing something from the discard to trade out with one of your cards, or choosing one from the top and you either trade one out or you throw it away. And the first one that gets their cards lowest to highest can say Racco and they go out, they get the most points. And then the other players, it's like as far up as they get that they're in order, they get that amount of points. So the numbers on the side are just for scoring at the end. So really simple. And like I said here, you can see how the numbers line up. So if somebody's having trouble um, reversing numbers, this will help them to see, you know, is it farther this way or that way? Although, boy, this 37 looks off-center, doesn't it? <laughs> but in general, this really has helped. And it was good because all my kids could play it together, even with the widespread of ages and, you know, reading and counting abilities. So, I hope this was a helpful look at Racco and how to play it. Remember that real life is messy and beautiful and better with games. Okay, I'm not going to start with okay and I'm not going to start with so. Racco! <laughs> Whoops, a baby. And a simple enough one that you can play with little kids or older kids. Am I pausing? Not good. Let's try that again. No pauses. <laughs>